Welcome back. Here is a story that is literally out of this world. A product manufactured by a Sarasota-based company is floating high above the Earth right now inside the International Space Station. With the help of that product, astronauts making a groundbreaking achievement. ABC 7's Max Winnitz is here with more on the story. Max? Hey guys, good evening. Those astronauts discovering that Earth isn't the only place fresh produce can be grown. Three, two, and they're one. Off. Ignition. And we have a liftoff. The next time a NASA crew blasts off for the International Space Station, they'll likely be carrying this on board. These tiny objects may look like something you'd find on, let's say, the moon. But it's actually fertilizer developed at Sarasota's Floricon plant. That fertilizer assisting in the growth of fresh produce on the ISS. Instead of being in a closed box with a door, um, the chamber has transparent, um, collapsible and expandable bellows. And so the crew can just, you know, float by and see the plants growing in there. It's unearthly, says Floricon founder Ed Rosenthal. If you would have told me that one day NASA would be using our fertilizer in space and microgravity or zero gravity to grow vegetables, I would, I would ask you, boy, I don't know, what, what are you smoking? No, there's no way. After years of research and testing, NASA officials choosing what's referred to as Floricon's NutriCoat strand. I think it just works because it's able to, you know, basically feed these plants so uh, kind of nutrients over time. You really have more of a time release or slow release mechanism and, and that allows them to you know, grow in very much controlled conditions in a controlled environment. Inside that controlled environment, red romaine lettuce sprouting up. It definitely sounds a little Star Trek ish for sure, you know, with, with that concept. A concept that Floricon is calling the cream of the crop in its 30 year history of making fertilizer. Isn't that pretty neat? The, um, the produce on the ISS, the astronauts can't eat it as of right now. They need to bring it back to hmm. Earth for some more tests to be done before it can be consumed. But uh, they're thinking about doing tomatoes next. That's Very just cool. such a tease. You know, it they is, grow these fresh. Because everything they have up there is probably right. not fresh, you know? The but freeze dried, all yeah. One day it sounds like they're going to be yeah. able to make a, a Caesar salad, you know, tomatoes and some romaine and maybe some dressing, too. Perfect. With all the right. help of a local company. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Max.